Plastic Camp is a fun summer camp that helps us and teaches us how much plastic can harm the environment and it also teaches us how you should protect our oceans and how to be activists. Youth activism is so powerful because inside of all of us there's something that we deeply care about. Inside of all of us young people we want to do something with our lives and we want to dedicate our lives to that. For me that thing is the ocean and inside that ocean there's something threatening it and that thing it's plastic. The plastic is the ocean, so make the animals as well. Because plastic is magic for animals, people, or, or the animals. Plastic pollution is real, and we're all a part of the problem, uh, just as much as we are a part of the solution. So this year at camp, rather than focusing on everything that's going horribly wrong in the environment in regards to plastic pollution, I wanted to focus on solutions to this issue and empower our campus to do what is right, which is work together to solve this environmental crisis. My name is Brianna Antis and, and I am the solution to plastic pollution. My name is Ellis Comer and I am the solution to plastic pollution. My name is Sharma Molly and I am the solution to plastic pollution. I believe that youth can be young and bold. They go out there and they, they look for it, they grab it and they don't hold back. Also, looking at, looking at other young people, it's like watching them make a huge difference. Like, why can I do that? That's what we're trying to produce. We're also very young and we see the world with untainted eyes and we can, which allows us to help us to find innovative solutions much easier. And also because this is our world, this is our future, this is our now, and we're trying to make a difference. Somebody has to make the change for us, and if nobody has, to, if we don't do it, then nobody has to do it. And we have to be the voice of our community, and we have to stand out and make the change in society. Today we are at the beach. We are doing a beach cleanup, and we have been looking for about a minute, and we found a good amount of plastic. Yeah. So each team is splitting up. Some teams are doing microplastic, which is a little small one. Some is doing macro plastic, which is a really big one. So we just stay over there uh, standing by the rock line, and they're picking up the sand and putting it on the little shift shifter, and they dust all the sand off, then they'll find the little micro plastic that is inside the sand. Uh, a few of solutions we learned at camp was some at the island school, which it was some called a kiln, uh, a solar kiln, and it melts plastic into bricks and you could use them for like construction or like probably a wall um, and then also we did pyrolysis which was um, turning plastic back into oil. So this year at Plastic Camp our students focused on innovating solutions to plastic pollution. So we looked at a variety of approaches to solutions to plastic in our environment, in our homes, in businesses, um, within our own personal lives, and the students got to select their own solution-based tracks that they focused on for the duration of the camp program. So some of these tracks included an activism track, a business solution track, um, the lifestyle track where you actually educate others on how they can live plastic free. We had an art based track where a mural was created to raise awareness of plastic pollution in the community and we also had a scientific research track that placed students out into the environment um, in the community to do data surveys to understand how much trash was actually out there and help them report on that information. For our solution project, we made a video urging the Prime Minister of the Bahamas to ban plastic bags in our country. Our solution project, we focus on reusable bags made of t-shirt. Then we put them in the grocery store so that people could use them instead of plastic bags. So it was very engaging um, that they got to look at this problem through a solution based lens and got to focus and fine tune that solutions to implement that in the community here of Eleuthera and hopefully the wider Bahamas. My name is Jackie Nunez, I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I'm the founder of Last Plastic Straw. I um, had the great um, 
fortunate to work with kids here at the Bahamas uh, Plastic Movement Plastic Camp. And one of my projects I worked with the kids was getting them to do outreach in their community and talk about uh, plastic straw use to some of the um, island businesses. And we actually implemented the um, straws upon request policy to have them participate for Plastic Free July. As an educator at the Plastic Camp um, Bahamas 2017, it's been great. Um, it's been very inspiring to work with the students and talk to them and I feel like it's kind of come full circle for me since I used to live and work in the island of Eleuthera and I really feel um, a special place in my heart for this place and it's just great to, to work with the youth and, um, and work on solutions to plastic pollution. I see a lot of great leaders um, being formed here, um, some great ideas, very innovative and the kids are very enthusiastic and learning a lot this Camp. I haven't used plastic straws in a whole year. I haven't used plastic bottles for two whole years. I personally believe that youth are the solution to plastic pollution. Youth are powerful and effective leaders. They're full of incredible ideas and when youth speak, the world listens. And although youth may only make up 25% of the world's population, they are 100% of the future and 100% of the change. Yeah,